Hello there, my name is Jenny Timms. I'm one half of Victoria's Art. The other half is Mike Caddy, who is currently on the other side of the camera. Um, we're just going to talk about the piece of glass art that's on the wall behind me. It's called Folium, and I created this in the Tiffany method, otherwise known as a copper foil method of stained glass. Um, this piece is made by cutting the glass to the shapes that we need, then wrapping each piece in copper foil and pinning the whole thing together like a big jigsaw puzzle and soldering it. Mike's going to do a little show and tell in a moment to show you how we cut glass, but we're very much a team here at Vitreous Art um, and we just wanted to show you something that we had made and a little bit about how we made it. Thank you. Hello, I'm Mike from Vitreous Art, the other half of Vitreous Art, as Jenny would say. Jenny's just told you a little bit about her piece, Folium, which was made using the copper foil method of stained glass. I'm just going to show you how we cut glass, the, the fundamental skill required for making glass art. Then I'll show you a little bit about the copper foil process as well, and hopefully I'll give you a bit of an understanding about how this particular type of stained glass is made. I'll do the glass cutting first, and then I'll explain what the copper foil method really entails and why it's different from the method using lead which is more traditional. So in order to cut the glass we use a glass cutter like this, it's a wheel cutter, it's got a tungsten carbide tip, a uh, tungsten carbide wheel really, um, and the wheel is shaped in a V and in order to break a piece of glass we make a score in the surface of the glass, stress the glass a little bit and then the glass breaks along the line of that score. The reason that is possible is because, unlike most materials, the strength of a piece of glass is mainly in the surfaces. So if we create a weakness in the surface of the glass by making a score, the glass will then break along the line of that score. It's an unusual material in that respect, and that allows us to make glass art by cutting shapes out of glass in this way. Now, Jenny mentioned the copper foil method. Um, here's a piece which is a work in progress. This is stage three, there are four stages, cutting, smoothing the edge of the glass, wrapping the pieces of glass in this copper foil, and then soldering them together. So that stage four, the soldering, would be the next stage for this piece, it's a dove. And actually, this is quite a good example of what the copper foil method is for. You can see we've got quite a lot of fairly small pieces of glass, like there's uh, the little leaves, the beak, of the, the beak of the dove and so on. It wouldn't really be possible to achieve that using the lead in the, in the traditional method of stained glass. So copper foil, I tend to think of it as good for decorative work, more sort of art, and the lead is good for architecture. Um, the copper foil, these days comes on a reel. It didn't in, the, in Tiffany's day in the 1870s when this method was first used. It comes on a reel, self-adhesive, so once we've cut the pieces of glass to suit the design and smooth the edges so that they're safe to handle and so that they fit together really neatly, we wrap the pieces of glass with this copper foil. That then allows us to solder the piece together uh, in the fashion that uh, you saw Jenny showing you where all of the silver lines on the piece are actually solder. I'll just show you an example of the design. This, this is a piece we've made a few variants of, as you can tell by the various coffee cup stains. And there aren't any colours on here. Um, it's entirely likely that a stained glass artist will make more than one piece of a design because creating the design quest takes, takes time. Um, and each time one makes a design, it's quite likely that you'd use different types of glass, different colours of glass in different places. So actually the design, this one, I think has probably been made three times, judging by the number of marks in each of the sections. But each one of these sections would be an individual piece of coloured glass, which would then be wrapped in copper foil and soldered together to make the whole. This piece, like the one that Jenny showed you, um, would also have been mounted on a board Folium, the piece that Jenny was showing you, is mounted on two boards because it's quite big, it would be quite difficult to transport in one section. So we built it in two sections so that when the time comes for a customer to take it home, it won't be too much of a transport challenge. 
that sort of ethos underlines quite a lot of what we do at Vitrious Art. We want to make wall art, that's what we, that's what we specialise in. We do make windows when called for, um, but wall art is what we really love doing. Um, but we always think about what will happen when the customer takes that to put in their own home. How will they put it on the wall? Where would they put it? How can they move it around? How can we make it simple as possible for them to enjoy in their own home? So I hope that's been a little bit of an insight into what we do. Thanks for watching. And if you'd like to know more about what we do, our gallery is based at Bell Plantation just outside Toaster, or you can find us online at www.vitreous-art.co.uk.